Don't forget to like and subscribe to Evolve MAP. Hello, this is Amber Zinke with Evolve Electrical. Today we're going to be talking about duct bank spacers. So within Evolve Electrical, we have a tool that is called duct spacers, and this is a completely automated process of placing your duct bank spacers. So let's dive right in. So we're going to go to our duct spacers, which is within our supports. You're going to see we have our placement mode. So we have our entire path, change direction, or a single spacer. Change direction will stop the command if there's a directional change. And with a single spacer, it will place a single spacer. So I'm going to stick with my entire path. Then our spacing will be whatever that is needed. I'm going to stick with my eight feet spacing. And then from end, which will be the distance between your end and your first duct bank. And then from union, and then we'll have our maximal vertical and horizontal separation. You can see from the beautiful pictures is telling you what this means, but it's telling you that the spacing between the conduits exceeds this value, then it'll be considered a separate duct bank. Going from there, we have our family that is going to be using to be placed. If you don't have the family loaded, you can just say load default family here. And then we have our template configuration, so our dimensions of A, B, and C. You can see what those dimensions are in the picture right above. And then we have our height and width rounding. We have our export and import information. So this is great for if you have this all set up and you want to just carry this over for your different projects and not enter in this information over and over again for your different projects. But it will remember the information you entered for if you're going to a different area within that project. But export it out if you want to keep that information for your other projects. Once you have entered your information, press OK, select your grouping of conduit, and choose the direction that you want your document spacers to be placed. Then bam, all of them have been automatically placed, and you see they have been placed based on the settings that you defined. So one foot after my end and every eight feet. So that is today's Fun Future Friday on Duck Bank Spacers. If you have any questions or want to see more, please visit our website and request a demo. Thank you.